Hello everyone, I'm Toxie. I'm doing the Nuzlocke Challenge for Pokemon Crystal. The Nuzlocke Challenge consists of two main rules. The first rule doesn't take place until I have the ability to start capturing Pokemon. But the rule is, the first Pokemon I see on any given route, I have to catch. If I accidentally faint that Pokemon, I miss out on my chance to catch any Pokemon in that route. The second main rule, which is always in place, is if a Pokemon in my main party faints, or just any of my Pokemon faint for that matter, they're considered dead. So, I have to either release them or put them in a dead box, I cannot use them again. And on top of that, I'm going to be playing with additional rules. So, the first additional rule is I'm going to nickname my Pokemon. So, when they inevitably die, I'm going to be absolutely devastated. Due to, you know, having a closer attachment to them, having to name them, and all of that to jazz. And the next additional rule I'll be doing is the duplicates clause, which means if I've already called a Pokemon, say, like a Rattata, and the next route I go to a Rattata appears, I don't have to catch the Rattata, I can wait till the next Pokemon appears. So that way I won't have a party full of just Rattata, because everyone knows that, that will suck. And the fifth additional rule I'm going by is that I can't pick the starter Pokemon. I'm going to be rolling a dice, so any number from 1 to 2 I'll get Chikorita, 3 to 4 I'll get Cyndaquil, and 5 to 6 I'll get Totodile. And without further ado, let's play some Pokemon Crystal. <laughs> are you a boy or are you a girl? Boy. <laughs> hmm. What? You woke me up. Will you check the clock for me? What time is it? Alright, so the time is four o'clock. Yes. How many minutes? Uh, it's about 4.30. Boom. Whoa, 30 minutes. Yikes. I overslept. Hello, sorry to keep you waiting. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Oak. People call me the Pokemon Professor. This world is inhabited by creatures that we call Pokemon. People and Pokemon live together by supporting each other. Some people play with Pokemon. Some battle with them. But we don't know everything about Pokemon yet. There are still many mysteries to solve. That's why I study Pokemon every day. Now, what did you say your name was? You know. Toxie, no doubt. Dun -dun. Toxie, are you ready? Your very own Pokemon story is about to unfold. You'll face fun times and tough challenges. A world of dreams and adventures with Pokemon awaits. Let's go. I'll be seeing you later. Now, just like a, an extra tidbit of information. Which are items? No, no items. Essentially, I've never played Pokemon Crystal. I had Pokemon Gold back when I was a kid and that game was awesome. I remember getting it for Christmas and I was so fucking hyped. And we went to like this family outing and I brought Pokemon with me just because, you know, it's fucking Pokemon. And there's my mother. Oh, Toxie, our neighbor, Professor Elm, was looking for you. He said he wanted you to do something for him. Oh, I almost forgot. Your Pokemon gear is back from the repair shop. Here you go. Toxie received Poke Gear. Pokemon gear or just Poke Gear? It's essential if you want to be a good trainer. Oh, the day of the week isn't set. You mustn't forget that. What day is it? Thursday. Nope. Wait. It's Friday. <laughs> My bad. I'm going very well with this. Friday, is it? Yep. Is it daylight savings time now? Nope. 
Yep. Come home to adjust your clock for daylight saving time. By the way, do you know how to use the phone? Yep. Don't you just turn the poker gear on and select the phone icon? Damn it, bitch, I said I knew how to use it. Phone numbers are stored in memory. Just choose a name you want to call. Gee, isn't that convenient? There. Oh, yeah. And another topic of information is I've never done a Nuzlocke challenge. This is my first Nuzlocke challenge. So, prepare to see me get wrecked. Hello, Toxie. I'm visiting. Toxie, have you heard? My daughter is adamant about becoming Professor Elm's assistant. She really loves Pokemon. So I don't remember her being in gold. I could be wrong, but is she like a crystal exclusive? Oh, let me know in the comments. <laughs> Alrighty. <laughs> this guy. So this is the famous Professor Elm. Ah, this is the famous Elm Pokemon Lab. What are you staring at? Oh shit. Alright, let's do this. Oh. Toxie, there you are. I needed to ask you a favour. I'm conducting new Pokemon research. Right now, I was wondering if you could help me with it, Toxie. You see... I'm writing a paper that I want to present at a conference. But there are some things I don't quite understand yet. So, I'd like you to raise a Pokemon that I recently caught. Yep, sounds good to me. Thanks, Toxie. See, his laziness has worked out for me. You're a great help. When I announce my findings, I'm sure we'll delve a bit deeper into the many mysteries of Pokemon. You can count on it. Oh, hey, I got an email. Hmm, uh-huh. Okay. Hey, listen. I have an acquaintance called Mr. Pokemon. Yep. <laughs> That's probably the most creative name Pokemon's ever come up with for one of their characters. <laughs> he keeps finding weird things and raving about his discoveries. Oh, hello, Puggy. Anyway, I just got an email from him saying that this time it's real. It is intriguing, but we're busy with our Pokemon research. Wait! I know! Toxie, can you go in our place? Yep, see? Again, getting me to do all the work for him. I want you to raise one of the Pokemon contained in these balls. You'll be that Pokemon's first partner, Toxie. Come on, pick one! Alright. Uh, as I stated before, I can't pick one. We'll have a look at the potential Pokemon I'll be getting. So Cyndaquil. That's the one I picked on my playthrough of Gold. So, so I'm interested to see what one I'll end up with. There's Totodor. Take it over carefully, your partner is important. And last but not least, Chikorita. So you like Chikorita, the grass Pokemon? Nope. Think it over carefully. Your partner is important. Alright. So now I'm gonna roll the die. And yeah, hopefully. I'm hoping I get Cyndaquil. But eh. <laughs> Let's see what happens. One. Chikorita it is. Alright. So, you like Chikorita, the grass Pokemon? Yep. Seems fine to me. I think that's a great Pokemon, too. Yeah. Chikorita. 
Give a nickname to the Chikorigo you just received? Yep. Alright. So, best name I could think of for this thing is the Final Evolution Mega Name. Kind of looks like a really derpy dinosaur. So, I don't really have an idea what to call it. Derp. Derpasaur. Yeah, Derpasaur. My first Pokemon. Mr. Pokemon lives a little bit beyond Cherry Grove, the next city over. It's almost a direct route there, so you can't miss it. But just in case, here's my phone number. Call me if anything comes up. Toxie got Alm's phone number. Yeah. If your Pokemon is hurt, you should heal it with this machine. Feel free to use it any time. Toxie, I'm counting on you. Uh, let's get out of here. Toxie, I want you to have this for your errand. Toxie received potion. Yeah, hooray, free handouts. There are only two of us, so we're always busy. Busy getting children to do your work. I, I understand how it is. You don't have to sugarcoat it. <laughs> uh, adventure! Mr. Pokemon. Let's do this. Yo, help your Pokemon! If they're weak and not ready for battle, keep out of the grass! Yep. I always like to imagine that's how he talks. If I had Pokeballs, this would be the first thing I'd catch. Fucking Sentret. <laughs> so, the real question is what's worse, like a Sentret or Ratata? Hmm. Yeah. It would really suck if Sentret triggered me and I was just. The Nuzlocke entered right here. That's just... <laughs> that would be so embarrassing. Oh yeah. Derp, so gained 24 experience points. Derp, derp, derp. I'm waiting for Pokemon that appear only at night. Yeah. It's a fruit bearing tree. Hey, it's a berry. Yeah. Got a berry. Yeah. I know I'm already visiting the Pokemon Center, but this is a Nuzlocke and I don't want to be doing any stupid mistakes, so yeah. So I remember like, again, when I first got gold, my dad would like take me to the football and he would always get angry at me because I never pay attention to the football, I just kept playing this game. You know, Pokemon's are so much fun. You know, Pokemon eat berries. Well, my Pokemon got healthier by eating a berry. Here, I'll share one with you. Touch you see a berry. Toxie put the berry in the item pocket. Check trees for berries. They just drop right off. Hey, how good would it be if you could just break into people's homes and they're just like, here, have some berries. Ah, oh, friendly. Oh, shit. Caterpie. I also believe that Crystal was the first Pokemon game to have their moving sprite animation at the start of a battle. That's pretty cool. 
Oh shit, this is defensive Kagepe. That's weak! Oh, string shot. You can just tell this is gonna be a long battle now. A long drawn up battle against my Derpasaur and the Caterpie. Destroy him! Chuckle! I failed. Failed at the string shot. Failed twice! That's gonna be like the worst Kagapi ever. It's like, how does it fail a string shot? Like, does it fail to produce a string or misses or. I don't know. Yeah, oh, small power. Level 6. Oh yeah. Antidote. Yeah. Thought about talking to him and changed my mind. <clears throat> oh, gotta take out all the Kagapis. I took a level 4 Kagapi before. What chance do you have? None. Destroy him. Critical hit. Aha. Uh -huh. And this Chikorega's got luck on its side so far. It's got some neat luck. Derpasaur has destroyed the Katapu. Berry. Poison cure berry. Yep, I'm sure that would come in handy. I know it didn't sound sincere in saying that, but it will come in handy. Hello, hello! You must be Toxie! Professor Elm said that you would visit. This is what I want Professor Elm to examine. Yeah, t mystery egg. I know a couple who run a Pokemon daycare service. They gave me that egg. I was intrigued, so I sent mail to Professor Elm. For Pokemon evolution, Professor Elm is the authority. Even Professor Okia recognizes that. If my assumption is correct, Professor Elm would know it. Aha! So you're Toxie. I'm Oak, a Pokemon researcher. I was just visiting my old friend, Mr. Pokemon. I heard you were running an errand for Professor Elm, so I waited here. Oh, what's this? A rare Pokemon! Let's see. Hmm, I see. I understand why Professor Elm gave you a Pokemon for this errand. To researchers like Professor Elm and I, Pokemon are our friends. He saw that you would treat your Pokemon with love and care. Ah! You seem to be dependable. How would you like to help me out? See? This is the latest version of Pokedex. It automatically records data on Pokemon you've seen or caught. It's a high-tech encyclopedia. Yeah, talk to see Pokedex. Go meet many kinds of Pokemon and complete that Pokedex. But I'll stay too long. I have to get to Goldenrod for my usual radio show. Toxie, I'm counting on you. You're returning to Professor Alm? Here, your Pokemon should have some rest. Eh, free hill, why not? I'll take it. I'm depending on you. Ah, oh, phone call. H Hello? Toxie, it's a disaster! Ah, uh, um, it's just terrible! What should I do? It, oh, uh, no. Please get back here now. Yeah, so I, I don't know why I keep, like, slipping into different voices. It's just... Meh. <laughs> Got nothing to say on that. It's just... 
I'm accidentally sleeping in a bunch of different voices, and that's all there is to it. Uh, destroy him! Oh, shit. Oh! Kagapi missed. So, this Chikorita, like, how is it, like, just managing to dodge everything? Like, I'm not complaining, but... Luck does appear to be on my side. For now. Yeah. I don't know if that was foreshadowing of things to come. We'll have to wait and see. Destroy him! Ross. Yeah, see, the one bad thing about having a Chikorita as a Starga is I'm going to have trouble with that first gym. Uh, flying tops. They're going to absolutely destroy my Chikorita. Hoppip? Hoppip's here. I don't remember Hoppip being in this area. Splash. Well, this is going to be easy experience for me. Oh, that attack though, this chicken rig is much too weak. Lucky bit weak. So you critical hit. It's Chikorita. Ooh, that was a nice experience boost. Yep. I'm definitely going to heal up here, otherwise my rival is absolutely going to just wreck me. Shall we heal your Pokemon? Yep. Blah 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 blah. <laughs> oh, the pain doesn't ever end. Alright, here we go. Got a Pokemon at the lab! What a waste! A wimp like you? Don't you get what I'm saying? Well, I too have a good Pokemon. I'll show you what I mean! Yep. Let's do this. Question mark wants to battle. Question mark set at Cyndaquil. Uh. <coughs> This is where I get totally wrecked. We got right, because I managed to get a couple levels. Ooh. That's still pathetically weak though, on my Durkasaur's part. Oh! It missed again. This... This Durkasaur is just the dodging king. Like, I know Pokemon don't like having an evasive stat, but holy shit, like, my Dopasaur is dodging everything. Oh, crit. Oh, oh. That's to win, though. 69. <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> Level up. Rizzle Leaf! Oh yeah! Humph! Are you happy you won? Oh hello pretty! 300 dollars! My name's... I'm going to be the world's... Great... Est Pokemon! Trainer! So the way that the text rolled out there just... Yeah... It's not like as... Smooth as it could have been, that transition. Alright. Fully healed. Well, I'll be. Let's do this. 
shortcut, take shortcut. Yeah, there's no need for us to fight a bunch of stuff. We're already leveled quite enough. Because I, I don't want this Nuzlocke to be like too easy, I don't want to be over leveled. So, yeah. I heard a Pokemon was stolen here. I was just getting some information from Professor Elm. Apparently, it was a young male with long red hair. What? You battled a trainer like that? Did you happen to get his name? Can't be anything else but David. Yeah, you know, this guy's totally David. No mistaking it. Okay, so David was his name. Thanks for helping my investigation. Toxie, this is terrible! Oh yes, what was Mr. Pokemon's big discovery? Toxie handed the mystery egg, blah 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 blah. This? But, is it a Pokemon egg? If it is, it is a great discovery! What? Professor Oak gave you a Pokedex? <laughs> Toxie, is that true? <laughs> That's incredible! He's a perfect seeing the potential of people as traders. Well, Toxie, you may have what it takes to become the champion. You seem to be getting on great with Pokemon too. You should take the Pokemon Gym Challenge. The closest gym would be the one in Violet City. Toxie, the road to the championship will be a long one. Before you leave, make sure that you talk to your mom. I guess. Toxie! Use these on your Pokedex quest. Touch to save Pokeball! To add to your Pokedex, you have to catch Pokemon. Throw Pokeballs at wild Pokemon to get them. Touch to put the Pokeball in the ball pocket. They're the size of a pocket. They're pocket sized. Wow, that's a cute Pokemon. Where did you get it? So, you're leaving on an adventure? Okay, I'll help too. But what can I do for you? I know, I'll save money for you. On a long journey, money's important. Do you want me to save your money? Sure, why not? Okay, I'll take care of your money. Be careful. Pokemon are your friends. You need to work as a team. Now go on! Right. Let's do this. Alright, so I've got Pokeballs now. So... The Nuzlocke Challenge is officially fully in place now. I've seen you a couple of times! How many Pokemon have you caught? Would you like me to show you how to catch Pokemon? Nope! Oh, fine then! Anyway, if you want to catch Pokemon, you have to walk a lot. Ah, oh, I'm glad we skipped over that. There's enough tutorial here as it is. Ah, oh, not centred. Level two as well. Could have been at least level three. Damn it! It's gonna be impossible to train. Oh, I created it! Oh god. Yep, I missed out on the Pokemon! <laughs> what was I saying about Chikorita being lucky? Oh. Uh, fuck you, Sentret. Derpasaur. Grum. I get something in the next route. Oh. What are the odds that I'm just gonna have Chikorita through this whole Nuzlocke? Alrighty. 
I don't even know if I can go to the Pokemon Center. Alright, let's see if I can catch something in Route 30. Here we go! The Pokemon that can't even attack? <laughs> I'm gonna fucking... Oh, God. I'm screwed. Two grass Pokemon and one of them can't even attack. Oh. Ugh. Yay! I called Hoppip. Mm-hmm. Alright, so... This Pokemon can't even attack. There's only one thing that's good for. And, um... That's what me using is bait. Like, if... If I don't want Chikorita to die, like, I need to switch out. This is all this Pokemon's good for. Ugh. Oh. Not how I planned for this to start out. This everything I could have gone wrong went wrong. Um, <laughs> maybe I can catch a bell sprout at the bell sprout tower. So I have three grass Pokemon. <laughs> and that'd be dandy. <laughs> All right. Oh, I'm gonna save and I suppose end that here. I suppose I'll, the next one I'll, you know, begin my journey to the Bell Sprout Tower, try to level up Hopip just so it can take more hits. Eh? Um, Alright, well, thank you, for, thank you all for watching. Hopefully I'll do better on the next episode. Bye.